Hi there, I'm Adam McDermott. One of my favourite things games allow us to do from time to time is act out defining moments in a story, something unique to the medium. Word of warning, spoilers are plenty in this video, with the most recent being Mission 43 of MGS5. Don't worry though, every other game mentioned is at least two years old. With that said, let's begin with Metal Gear Solid 5. An infection has broken out on Mother Base. Communications are down, with this footage being the last broadcast. So it is up to Big Boss to determine the severity of the situation. What immediately separates this mission from all others is the camera angle. It's more intimate. Snake's movement is also slower. Sprinting through this nightmarish scene is not allowed. The same goes for crouching. I am restricted in what I can do, a far cry from the abundance of options available throughout the rest of the game. I make my way to the top of the quarantine lab, passing numerous suffering squad mates, and acquire a set of goggles capable of highlighting those who are infected. If they get outside, the disease will spread at an alarming rate. Unfortunately, just about all of these poor soldiers must now die. They beg for mercy, their name appears as a reminder that they are part of my team, but I have no choice. This is all done while Huey lambasts me. The high point, or well, low point, and what really stuck with me was finding a room full of guys who hadn't fully turned. Not yet. They valiantly salute their leader, loyal to the bitter end as one by one they fall, without protest. Initially, I felt horrible sick to my stomach for what the game was forcing me to do, but that quickly evolved into gratitude. I knew I would never forget this. Sure, I've killed thousands upon thousands of people before, but this time, it was different. These were innocent soldiers I brought to Mother Base after carefully scouting and extracting them, soldiers I assigned to a platform. One of them I had even taken out on a mission, but there is no alternative. They cannot live, and I have to actually aim and pull the trigger. It is a huge moment that could have been shown in a cutscene, but I doubt the emotional impact would be the same. I've forgotten a good chunk of MGS5's story to be honest, but not this room. Never this room. Let's let the boss decide. We live and die by your order, boss. Of course, Metal Gear Solid is no stranger to delving into powerful narrative gameplay. MGS4 had that deadly microwave oven hallway, and the end of MGS3 had me putting the final bullet in Snake's mentor. It seems like Kojima was building to Mission 43, adding in a little more player freedom each time. From just pressing one button in MGS3 as Snake stood motionless, to holding up on the analog stick and occasionally mashing the triangle button in MGS4, to free aiming and shooting, a free camera, and about half of Snake's full movement in MGS5. I can only imagine what he might do in the future. Another game which is big on emotional gameplay is Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. Throughout their epic adventure, the two brothers overcome many obstacles until a wretched spider gravely wounds the older brother, Naya. It is then up to the younger brother, Nai, to take on the responsibility of carrying Naya to the Tree of Life, running up it and bringing back healing water to rescue Naya from the brink of death. Unfortunately, he is too late. 
a heartbreaking cutscene plays with him desperately trying to revive his lost brother, sobbing and screaming out his name. This is hard to watch, but what the game asks of me afterwards is even harder to play. I have to bury him with full control. I slowly move the younger brother as he collapses in tears several times. I use the interact button to pick up Naya's corpse. I struggle to drag his body and push every single one of those four mounds of dirt on top of him. This is a game that makes me bury a child as a smaller child. And because I did this during gameplay, it had an emotional resonance that I have not felt in other mediums. I know Brothers is not a game for everyone, but I will never forget this sequence. Something else I won't easily forget is cutting off Ethan Mars's finger in heavy rain, but for a much different reason than Brothers or MGS5. What this nails is tension. I have under five minutes to find something in the room capable of cutting off Ethan's finger in order to receive information about the whereabouts of Ethan's missing son. Heavy Rain makes just about everything interactive, from brushing your teeth to fighting off an armed attacker. Knowing that in advance makes this scene uneasy from the start, because I know that finger will be severed in excruciating detail. Music builds as I scour the room looking for sharp objects, perhaps even a bit of liquid courage. The countdown is a constant reminder of how little time I have to complete this disgusting task. You have 4 minutes and 30 seconds left. When I sit, the sound of Ethan's heartbeat takes over, beating faster and faster until... Ugh. Also, let's not forget about cauterizing the wounds. Overall, I felt Heavy Rain was hit or miss with interactivity. Some of the time it felt tedious or unnecessary, but its obsessive nature over tiny details elevated this scene into something much greater. Something I shiver to think about looking at my own fingers while writing this. I treasure these rare moments in games, be it killing infected, loyal, courageous soldiers as they salute me, marching an aging man through a hallway of microwaves, burying a sibling, or cutting off a finger for information on a lost son. As sad or tense as a cutscene can be, for me, they don't possess the same visceral, emotional, long-lasting impact as having an active hand in those big story moments. I'm sorry. 